Hello everyone, in this video we're taking a look at a 3 inch LED projector lens. This is something that I bought to sort out the lights on an Audi A4 B8. Never got the chance to do that because I sold the car. But anyways, this is the lens. I got also some adapters for it. And before starting to or before doing a video about how to install it in a headlight, I will go ahead and see what is inside of the lens. I always have this question. We will be taking a look at build quality and overall fit and finish. This video will be very similar to the one that we have done for that LED laser lens. Price and the overall product, I would say that this is a very good buy. It's a very good buy because it offers the possibility to install it on a headlight that didn't have a lens using this type of, of mounting. Uh, this will be fitted in the hole of your, in the place of your previous bulb. You will need to center it a little bit and you lock it with this washer. Also, you get some rubber adapters to help you in securing it. It has an interesting channel to make sure that your horizontal line is properly set. But at the same time, you are able to mount it. Let me try to put it closer to the camera. On the headlights that have already a lens, you should be able to mount it with the, the outer holes and with the outer frame. Also interesting about this lens is the fact that it doesn't require a separate LED driver so it's quite compact you don't need that much space in the headlight to to fit everything this back bit also protects the fan of your lens but should you require to reduce the size if you remove this adapter the lens will be shorter Looking at this lens, I'm tempted of saying that it's better built than the previous one, the LED laser one. This one doesn't have any washers, any things that have been adapted. Quite an interesting construction. They're using some washers in between the plastic bit and the metal. Oh, I think that they are using these washers to hold the screw in place. So maybe when they are doing their assembly line, it is faster to, um, to do it like that because you don't need to worry that much about the screw falling. I wouldn't think that they are thinking of vibration or other things in this assembly big metal heat sink exactly like last time the reflector bit is made out of plastic and this might be a weak point in time that chrome bit might exfoliate mm. Heat paste. I would ask the question why? Why would you put heat paste in that area? Our shutter is quite big. In the past, you would see a small little metal plate but these guys are using a big solid 
shutter. So if you're buying them right hand drive and should you need to have them the other way around, it's not easy to convert them. On the top bit, we have the LED for the low beam. And by the looks of it, underneath is the LED for the high beam. Let's remove this lower bit. Okay. And by the looks of it, here we have all the electronics. I need to be careful not to mix them up because all the connectors are exactly the same. I'll do a picture with my phone. Let's remove the top bit. And now we should be able to see our light source, our main LED. This is our main source of light. We have six cells. And for the high beam, the lower one, we will have something with three cells. No branding, no name of a company. That is the light source for the high beam. This is the light source for the low beam. Outer casing. It's a casted material. One big solid piece. They put the LEDs with the heat sinks and thermal conductive paste. After that, they continue with the reflectors. So they will install that one and that other one. I would say after that, the shutter, the electronics, the lower bit, the top bit, the front lens, and at the end, that little bit. I will record each and every one of them separately, put them in the video so that should you be interested, you can see them at a better resolution and better quality. And after that, I will start reassembling all of the things. Main body with the two LEDs connected with thermal paste. Casted material. Fixed hole pattern. The electronics. The reflector for the high beam. Plastic. The reflector for the low beam. Again, plastic, lower cover. Here we have something with a bit of writing. Upper cover. Shutter. Quite 
quite a good construction. They use metal parts. Very smooth operation. Put back this little screw so that I don't lose it. Back plate. The lens itself. Three inch screws with rubber washers. And you will get a set of adapters should you want to mount it on a headlight that didn't have a lens. I think that the guys are calling it central hole mounting, central alignment. But overall quite quite an interesting product. In testing the light output was quite okay. I will show some pictures with the light output. Also I will show you the, the power usage. If my memory serves me 45 watt in normal usage and a little bit more when we are connecting the high beam. From a wiring point of view these two are for the main beam and should be connected uh, positive to red, negative to, to blue. The other two ones, the yellow ones, let me put this one better in frame. These two ones, they don't really matter how you connect them. They work in both ways. So overall, a very nice lens. In the, pre in the previous, in the next video, I will show how I'm installing this lens in an Audi A4B8 headlight. At the same time to install that lens in or on the Audi headlights, there is a frame that has been manufactured by the same, I wouldn't say by the same supplier, because many of the pro products that are coming from China are sold by a company, but they might be made in a different factory altogether. But to sum it up, you will need this frame, that lens, the Audi headlight. If, I, if, I, if I've done my research correctly, the same frame is able to work on multiple Audi cars. The same setup will be for the Audi A5 and some other cars from that generation. We will be using it on the Audi A4B8 and we will be replacing the normal lens projector with this one. In my experience of owning that car, this was the thing that was missing on the car or the light output was very mediocre and it was one of the things that was letting down the car. This being said, I hope that the video helps. If you like it, don't forget to show some love, share, subscribe, all the good stuff and I shall be seeing you in the next one.